Knock knock. What the fuck Who still does? Who's there? I eat mop. I eat mop who? That's revolting. Skip only reviews! So when I expect you to laugh, I will play this brief track to get the haha -ha sauce flowing through your brain. Anyway, Fate. Fate is actually the first strand type anime. Perhaps you've seen Gigguk's famous Mimi trying to understand the Fate franchise. It's a video that kind of satirizes how convoluted Fate's watching order is. It was originally a hentai game, then in 2006 it turned into a manga slash anime series, meaning no more uh... Then a whole bunch of shit happened, I'm talking movies, trilogy movies, sequels, prequels, visual novel sequels, alternate universes, OVAs, mobile games. This isn't funny so I'm gonna stop. Point I'm making is, you've probably had some interest in checking it out, but found yourself asking, where do I start? Who gives a shit? I mean, really. Alright, I watch anime, I have fun. I do half an hour of homework for an anime I might enjoy, I'm not having fun. So, in my inexperienced eyes, you have two choices. I started by watching Fate Stay Night a very long time ago and enjoyed it. From what I remember, it was a heavily action-driven shonen er anime with some crazy animation. Fate Zero, on the other hand, is just fucking depressing. It leans much more towards psychological slinin'. You're gonna want to be watching this one for more than just the action. It's also the prequel to Stay Night, so from my point of view, you can start off on either one of these and be just fine. Well, actually, yeah, whatever, man. But we're not talking about both of these. This video is about Fate Zero and whether or not it's for you, starting now. The first three episodes. Ass. The show kicks off with like an hour straight of expository dialogue, basically showing you all the characters and teaching you how the story works. They do that thing where they have one of the characters read a book out loud like, oh, it says here in the stinky wee wee osmosis engine that to prop the babysit you through the plot. It's boring. Nobody likes that. So to counter this, I want to give you a summary of the story so you have the option of paying half attention in the first episode. Go ahead and skip if you want. In this world, there exists a secret society of mages lurking within the shit. Longtime actor Steve Buscemi, what are you doing here? Moving on, every 60 years the Holy Grail appears, a relic that grants wishes. The cup selects a group of mages to fight over it based on an unknown criteria, but it's commonly believed that it selects those who need it the most. Those who have received a brand from the Holy Grail will have an opportunity to summon a heroic figure from history. The heroes forge a contract with their mage and team up in a battle royale against other heroes to grant their wish. Now there are ways you can influence the Grail to pick you or someone else, I just don't know how the fuck that happens. You watch from the perspective of five different masters and five different hero servants and get to know them all pretty intimately. Now I'm about five seasons five movies and five spinoffs short, so there may be some misinformation in there, but I think that'll get you through episode one. I haven't said a single pleasant thing about this anime yet, which is a damn shame because there's a lot to love about it. Which is a shame because season one sucks ass. That second season though, it put me in a Papa John's-like trance where I was sweating and physically breaking down from all the heat. Yeah, Fate starts off extremely slow, but it kind of Stockholm syndromes you into falling in love. They spend a ton of time planting little seeds and plot points in the first season that later sprout and take hold of your attention. There's a healthy amount of fights, that's kind of what Fate's known for, but if you come into the series just for action, you'll be sorely disappointed. Because, at least from my perspective, Zero's an entirely character-driven anime. The story offers like 10 realistic perspectives that I can totally understand. One guy wants to be recognized, one guy doesn't even know why he's picked, one guy wants to starts off with these basic desires, but as you get to know the characters better, you'll occasionally see their entire worldview just get crushed. Bad guys turn out to be kinda neutral, good guys turn out to be bad guys, and it all just makes sense. There's no ass poles or random deaths, every shift in the story is just a product of what we've seen in the early episodes. The stuff that gets revealed about this guy blew my mind, the realization that Kotomine makes later in the series blew my mind, but let's talk about a character I can't stand, Saber. You wanna know why Saber exists? To sell dolls, alright? To comfort lonely men. Okay, okay, too far. I hate her. From those dumbass oven mitts she wears to her whole ideology, she just looks stupid. That's quite big. But you see her on every poster, you know, so I assume that she would be the main focus of the song. She just gets shit on and called out by every character in the story. God, I don't want to spoil anything, but it's so satisfying. The cast really makes the show, I've said it a billion times, but it'd be hard to speak on the value of fate without mentioning the production. It's like watching a damn movie. It sports an iconic score with some really recognizable cinematic tracks. There's certain themes that immediately elicit a certain feeling in the anime. As the guy I was watching the show with elegantly put, you know it's gamer time when they start playing gamer music. And god damn it he was right, whenever they play the shits going down music, shit always goes down. Animation wise, it's nice. Especially the more emotional stuff. For something made in 2011, the visuals they were able to pull off are extremely impressive, which makes sense coming from the studio behind Demon Slayer. My only real complaint is that a lot of the fights in the first season are kinda lackluster, but otherwise a really aesthetically pleasing show. Except when it's not! <laughs> 
It is humiliating that she yeah, shows that so did much not look cool. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Please stop the car. What the fuck, man? Hey, hey, there's something wrong with that Walking car. Jokes aside, Fate overshadows its boring, soft cock inducing slow start by sculpting a genuinely entertaining experience in the later parts of the show. Some of you are going to be mind numbingly bored and disappointed. Some of you are going to absolutely love the story, and I think it's worth taking that risk. It's a show that can stand alone, because I'm sure as fuck not gonna watch the rest of Fate, with a triumphant and highly satisfying conclusion. And if you watch Stay Night first like you were supposed to, you have to watch this. Give it a shot. If you're like 10 episodes deep and just can't get into it, that's about when you're gonna wanna call it quits. Okay! If you don't fuck with this video, you can go ahead and leave, no hard feelings. If you wanna hear me ramble about random shit and ruin my watch time, welcome. Christmas is coming up, and that's really got the spirit of giving flying through the air. I know I like to ask you guys for a lot, but it's your dumbass fault for being so supportive and kind for no reason. I'm a simple man, you see. A simple man of simple desires, and for this Christmas, all I ask of you is that, well, actually not all of you, I'm talking to you, Bell. If you find yourself lonely on this Christmas Eve, perhaps you need someone to simp for you, just go ahead and hit me up on Discord, email me, I will get right back to you. Now viewers, please do not tweet her or comment on her Instagram. I want to do this one on my own. AKA, you're going to make me look fucking weird. Half of you guys have anime profile pictures. Now that's over with, I want to talk about YouTube. I might not post next week. I'm planning on being very drunk and very high, possibly both at the same time this week. So whatever happens, happens. I hope you guys have a very nice Christmas. If you want to tell me about it, I'll probably be on my Discord the day after. Just talking. See ya.